dear students, welcome. This is our class number 14 on hydrostatics. We are discussing the sector center of pressure. First, I shall try to solve this problem. What is it? Find the center of pressure of a quadrant of an ellipse. Center of pressure of, of, an, uh, of a quadrant of an ellipse. Quadrant. Just immerse vertically in a homogeneous liquid with major axis in the surface. Major axis in the surface. <coughs> This is the question. You see here. This is the free surface. And uh, it is the vertical line. OAB. Suppose that OAB is the quadrant of the ellipse. OA is equal to A, O B equal to B, suppose. And O A is in the free surface. It is the free surface. This is free surface. We take X axis along the major axis, Y axis along the minor axis. Take X axis along the major axis and Y axis along the minor axis. This is the case. Now, suppose Q be a point and uh, we consider an elementary area, this time delta x, delta y. Suppose this is the area, elementary area. Whose coordinates are x, y refer to the coordinate axis, o, x, o, y. Consequently, this distance will be equal to x, this distance will be equal to y. Why? To find the center of pressure. Same type questions. Let me write. <coughs> let OAB solution, you will have to write. Let OAB be the quadrant of the ellipse. of the ellipse immersed in the <coughs> liquid in the homogeneous liquid liquid of density rho rho c Homogeneous liquid of density rho c. Let's immerse in a homogeneous liquid of density liquid QID. Liquid of density rho in such a way that that The, <coughs> the OA is in the effective surface, in the free surface or effective surface. OA is in the effective surface and OB is vertical. Also, and OB is vertical. OB is vertical. Let OA equal to A and the OB equal to B. We take x axis along, we take x axis, x axis along OA and y axis, y axis along. OB. We take x axis along OA and y axis along OB. Mm. 
Revert to the ordinary axis OX and OY. The equation of the ellipse will be equal to, since O is equal to A, it is the major axis. Refer to the coordinate axis, OX, refer to the, to the coordinate axis, OX, OY, OY. The equation of the ellipse is, of the ellipse is, x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to y. Equation of the ellipse will be equal to this. Right? <coughs> Consider an elementary area. An elementary area. Area. This time delta x delta y at a point q which is within the quadrant of the, uh, which is within the quadrant, quadrant of the ellipse. Which is within the, the quadrant of the ellipse. This. At the point Q, whose coordinates are Coordinates are x, y. Refer to this coordinate axis. Refer to this coordinate axis. O, x, o, y. Refer to this coordinate axis. O, x, o, y. Right? <clears throat> we have to find the center of pressure. We have to find the center of pressure. Suppose, and uh, rho is the density of the homogeneous liquid here. Suppose P is the pressure at Q. Let P be the pressure at Q. Pressure at Q. At Q. Therefore, P equal to zero. This distance, what is this distance? It, it, that, the, that distance will be equal to y. That distance will be equal to y. Z, rho, and this distance. This distance is y. Therefore, thrust on the elementary area. Therefore, thrust on the elementary area. Delta x delta y will be equal to z rho y del x del y. Thrust on the elementary area will be equal to this. Thrust on the elementary area is this. Thrust on the whole area means thrust on the uh, <coughs> ellipse, uh, quadrant of the ellipse. Thrust on the whole area. Therefore, thrust on the whole area. Area. That is the quadrant of the ellipse. Quadrant OAB of the ellipse. Equal to, it will be double summation 0 y del x del y this now suppose that c x bar y bar b down center of pressure cp means center of pressure of the area of the quadrant of the area area means of the quadrant of the of the quadrant way of the quadrant way Way. Of the area, you may write it as of the area. X bar Y bar be the center of the quadrant. 
proceeding as before next step uh, what will be the what will be our next step the next step will be taking moment on the thrust about ox and oy now taking moment of the thrust taking moments of the thrust taking moments of the thrust about oy 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 this is equal to the of the thrust about oy this the thrust on uh, y on the elementary area g rho y delta x delta y it is the thrust and what is the distance of q from o i it is x this is x h and the sum in the area of all the all the points to find the all the points you will have to put it here double summation this is equal to moment of the resultant Suppose he x bar y bar center of pressure over the x bar y bar. Suppose this distance will be x bar, this distance will be y bar, like that, like that. It will be uh, you know x bar. This means x bar equal to equal to double summation z rho y is uh, x y x y. del x del y divided by z rho y del x del y del x del y this is equal to double summation x y del x del y divided by y del x del y x bar will be equal to this x bar will be equal to this center of pressure let me move let me move that push now <clears throat> This is equal. This means x bar equal. To. It will be you know <coughs> integral. It is again integral, double integral. X y dx dy. X will be equal to. X will be equal to zero to a. Zero to a. y will be equal to you know here equation of the ellipse i am writing here equation of the ellipse x square by x square plus y square by b square equal to 1 this means y square by b square is equal to 1 minus x square by x square this means y square equal to b square by x square into x square minus x square This means y equal to b by a root of r x square minus x square. Y is equal to b by a. Y equal to zero to b by a root of r x square minus x square. And here x is equal to zero to a. 
x is equal to 0 to a. y is equal to 0 to y the value of y is 0 to b by a root over a square minus x square y dx dy dx dy this means x bar can be written as x equal to 0 to a x y equal to 0 to b by a root of r a square minus x square y dy dx you may write like this this means and here x equal to 0 to a y equal to 0 to b by a root of r a square minus x square y dy dx y dy dx <coughs> right this is the case suppose uh, this is integration i1 by i2 see I1 by I2, see. Where I1, uh, I1 uh, uh, is equal to this integration, the, uh, the integration in the numerator. I2 equal to this integration, the equation in the denominator. I1 is equal to this integration in the numerator. I2 is equal to this integration in the denominator. This integral will be calculated later on. Just. First, uh, <coughs> I want to find y bar. Find the expression for y bar. Means taking moments of the thrust about the x axis. Now about the x axis. Now taking moments of the thrust. Moments of the thrust. Thrust. About O O X we get about O X we get now the at the point Q the pressure is zero Y delta X delta Y this is the thrust zero Y zero Y delta X delta Y it is the thrust dot. What is the moment of this thrust about OX? The perpendicular distance from this to OX, it is Y. You will have to write it here, Y. Double summation. This is equal to moment of the uh, resultant, zero Y, del X, del Y. And uh, perpendicular distance from the center of pressure to the x axis it is y bar it is y bar it is y bar right This means y bar equal to zero y square delta x delta y y delta x delta y. This this is equal to y square delta x delta y y delta x delta y to, uh, <coughs> x is equal to 0 to a y equal to 0 to b by a root of r a square minus x square y square dy dx it will be x is equal to 0 to a y equal to 0 to b by a root of r a square minus x square it is uh, y dy 
Why do you like this? Why are you going to do this? Now see. In the denominator, I do. Uh, the denominator will be definitely I2 and suppose this is equal to I3. Now, separately, we find I1, I2 and I3. Then, put the values of I1 and I2 here. You will get X bar, the X coordinate of the center of pressure. If you put I3 and I2 here, then you will get the Y coordinate of the center of pressure. Now let us find, <clears throat> let us find I1, let us find I1, first I should remove this one, remove this, then remove this, then this one. It is Y bar. I1, I2, and I3. <coughs> Thus, I am going to find I1, I2, and I3. I1, I2, and I3. I1 equal to I1 equal to integration x is equal to 0 to a x y equal to 0 to b by a root over a square minus x square y dy dx i1 equal to this thus this is equal to x equal to 0 to a x what is the integration of y y square by 2 you put y square by 2 0 to b by a root over a square minus x square dx this is equal to 0 to a, x is equal to 0 to a, x into 1 by 2, it should be b square by a square, a square minus x square dx, right? This is equal to b square by twice a square integral, 0 to a, a square x minus x cube dx. A square x minus x cube dx. This is equal to b square by twice a square. It is a square x square divided by 2. A square x square divided by 2. Minus x to the power 4 by 4. 0 to a. 0 to a. If you put 0, it will be 0. Then uh, <coughs> this is equal to b square by twice a square. It will be you know a to the power four by two minus a to the power four by two. From this, from this, I am going to write <coughs> here. Just let me write here. This means it is uh, it was I one. Therefore, I one equal to this b square by twice a square it will be a to the power 4 divided by 2 this is equal to a square b square divided by 8 a square b square divided by 8 we have obtained i1 equal to a square b square divided by 8 i1 equal to a square b square divided by 8 right one integration we have calculated one integration now Total three integration i2 and i2. i3 will have to be calculated now. Now let me calculate i2. i2. i2 equal to integration 0 to a x equal to 0 to a. What is this? Uh, let me first write 0 to b by a root of r y dy dx equal to x equal to 0 to a it will be y square divided by 2 0 to b by a root of r a square minus x square dx dx after that i will write 
this is equal to from this 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 means i2 equal to 1 by uh, 0 to a x is equal to 0 to a 1 by 2 b square by a square a square minus x square a square minus x square x this is equal to b square by twice a square a square x minus x cube by 3 0 to a Zero to a. This is equal to b square by twice a square. A cube minus a cube by three. If you put zero, it will be zero. B square by twice a square into two by three a cube. This is equal to two to cancel. Uh, a square a, a cube a b square divided by three. It is a b square divided by three i2 equal to a b square by 3 in a similar way <coughs> let's calculate that i2 i2 equal to a b square divided by 3 we have calculated i1 i2 now i3 what will be i3 to calculate i3 i can remove this one x bar is equal to i1 by i2 x bar equal to i1 by i2 x bar equal to i1 by i2 y bar equal to i3 by i2 just <coughs> we have calculated x bar now i3 i3 equal to i3 equal to x equal to 0 to a y equal to 0 to b by a root of r a square minus x square y square dy dx y square dy dx this is equal to x equal to 0 to a it will be y cube by 3 0 to b by a root of r a square minus x square dx it will be like this is not it. Now, let me write here. <coughs> this is equal to x equal to 0 to a 1 by 3 b cube by a cube a square minus x square whole to the power 3 by 2 dx a square minus x square whole to the power 3 by 2 this is equal to i2 equal to, i3 equal to, this is equal to b cube by thrice a cube integration x is equal to 0 to a a square minus x square whole to the power 3 by 2 dx to evaluate this integra integration the standard is a, just put x is equal to a sin theta put x is equal to a sin theta put x is equal to a sin theta x equal to a sin theta this means dx equal to a cos theta d theta x equal to 0 implies theta equal to 0 x is equal to 0 implies theta is equal to 0 and x equal to a implies theta is equal to pi by 2 theta is equal to pi by 2 just remove this one also <clears throat> I3 mm -hmm. I1 I have written S1 this mm -hmm. now therefore I3 equal to <clears throat> it will be B cube by twice oh no no not twice twice a cube integration theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 a square minus a square sin square theta whole to the power 3 by 2 a cos theta d theta 
a cos theta theta. This is equal to b cube by thrice a cube a square whole to the power 3 by 2 into a theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 1 minus sin square theta whole to the power 3 by 2 cos theta d theta cos theta d theta <coughs> this is equal to b cube by thrice a cube into a cube into a integration 0 to pi by 2 it will be a cos square theta cos cube theta cos to the power 4 theta this is equal to a b cube divided by 3 a b cube by 3 it is uh, the integration of this will be 3 by 4 into 1 by 2 into pi by 2 3 by 4 1 by 2 pi by 2 3 3 will be cancelled pi a b cube divided by 16 pi a b cube divided by 16 I3 equal to pi a b cube by 16 pi a b cube divided by 16 I1, I2, I3 we have got all the values of I1, I2 and I3 put it put here x bar, y bar you will find the coordinates of the center of pressure We are going to x bar. x bar equal to i1 by i2. This is equal to i1 equal to a square b square divided by a. i2 equal to a b square by a. a b square by 3. This is equal to a square b square by 8 into 3 by a b square. This is equal to thrice a by a. X bar equal to thrice a by a. X bar equal to thrice a by a. Y bar equal to i3 by i2. What is i3? Pi a b cube by 16. Divided by i2 a b square by 3. This is equal to pi a b cube by 16 into 3 by a b a b square. 3 by a b square. A a will be cancelled. B square b square and 1 b will be there. Thrice b pi by 16. Therefore y bar equal to Thrice b pi by 16. Thrice b pi by 16. Thus, <coughs> x bar equal to x bar equal to thrice a by 8. Y bar equal to thrice b pi divided by 16. This is the answer. This is the answer. Thrice a by 8. Thrice b pi by 16. We have done this. Let us take another problem. First, uh, <coughs> let me remove this. Let us take another problem. Let us try to solve this problem. What is it? An ellipse is just immersed, just immersed in water with its major axis vertical. With its major axis vertical. Suppose this is the ellipse with its major axis vertical. Major axis vertical. Just immersed means it is the effective surface. Free surface is this. Free surface is this. Suppose C is the center of the ellipse. Okay. 
X and this is Y. It is just uh, immersed. Uh, so that if the center of pressure coincides with the lower focus, suppose it is the lower focus. It is lower focus and it is upper focus. It is as that, suppose it is as. Center of pressure is here at the lower focus. Then what will be the eccentricity of the ellipse. What, what will be the eccentricity of the ellipse? PQ consider as elementary strips PQ which is at the depth x below the center of the ellipse obviously this distance will be equal to A because this distance is equal to A Right, let me write first. <clears throat> Le measure x is vertical. Measure x is vertical. Let C be the center of the ellipse. Of the ellipse. A dash A be the measure x is. B dash C B, B dash B, B dash C B, you may write A dash, uh, uh, <coughs> instead of writing A dash A, you may write A dash C A, you may write A dash A dash C B the major axis, B dash C B B the minor axis, minor axis, of the ellipse. of the ellipse. Let a dash a equal to twice a length of the major axis and b dash b length of the minor axis is equal to twice b. Length of the major axis twice a and length of the minor axis twice b. The point a dash A dash of the ellipse in the A dash of the ellipse is in the free surface of the liquid. Free surface of the liquid. Here the liquid is given to be water. You may read here water. Right? I hope up to this step there is no problem. Now we consider x axis. Along C A. Along the major axis, you may write along the major axis. axis and y axis along the minor axis we consider x axis along the major axis and y axis along the minor axis along the minor axis we have to find the center of pressure first Center of pressure. Center of pressure lies on the lower focus of the ellipse. The <coughs> this thing will come later on. Now, first we have to find the center of pressure of the ellipse. Consider an elementary strip. An elementary strip. PQ of bread delta x which is at a distance 
Hoe zie je dat die stil is? Distance x from the center of the arm. Hoe zie je dat die distance x from the center of the ellipse? Hoe zie je dat die distance x from the center of the ellipse? Consider an elementary strip PQ of breadth delta x, which is at the distance x from the center of the ellipse. Right? Now, area of the strip. Now, area of the elementary strip. Elementary strip. Strip. PQ. What is the area of the elementary strip? It will be length into breadth twice y delta x. Twice y delta x is the area of the elementary stream. Now, pressure on the elementary stream. Pressure at the uh, strip. Pressure at the strip. Let P be the pressure at the strip. Pressure on the strip. Therefore, P equal to Z rho density into distance of this from the effective surface. It is the free surface. What is the distance of this from this? From PQ, the distance of PQ from the center, it is H. And from the center to free surface it is A. Therefore, the distance will be A plus X. It is clear that the distance is A plus X. Pressure will be 0 into A plus X. Therefore, thrust on the elementary strips will be equal to pressure into area. Therefore, thrust. Can I remove this one? Hmm. I should remember that the center of pressure coincides with the lower focus and the, we have to find the eccentricity which is equal to 1 by Therefore, thrust on the elementary strip on the elementary strip PQ equal to Pressure into area. Pressure into area. Pressure into area. Pressure is zero. A plus x. The area is twice y delta x. Thrust. Therefore, thrust on the on the elliptic area. will be equal to summation 0 a plus x twice y delta x twice y delta x thrust on the elementary area is this on the elementary <clears throat> up to this to find the pressure let uh, x bar be the depth of the sector of pressure let x bar be the depth That's the new, that's the new, and um, let x bar be the depth of the center of pressure from the center of from the center C of the ellipse from the center C of the ellipse depth of the center of pressure from the center C of the ellipse. Now, taking moments of the thrust, 
taking moments and the thrust uh, about why we get taking moments of the thrust about why we get now elementary state the thrust is zero a plus x twice y delta x to find the moment you will have to multiply the thrust by the perpendicular distance from this about the line about the line is cy oh it is uh, <laughs> it is not y about the uh, it is cy because C is the center of the ellipse. <clears throat> we suppose that C is the center of uh, the ellipse, not O, uh, C. This one. What is this distance? Is distance is X. Moment, to find the moment. Moment of a force about a point or about a line. Equal to the product of the force into perpendicular distance from the point to the line of action of the force. Therefore, this into x is the big sum of the moments. This is equal to moment of their resultant 0 a plus x twice y delta x. It is the thrust on the ellipse, thrust on the ellipse into x bar. Because this thrust passes through the center of pressure by the definition of center of pressure, remember. Definition of center of pressure. The resultant thrust passes through the center of pressure. Therefore, uh, the distance, we are, we are calculating the moment about the line CY. Therefore, it will be uh, the resultant into the perpendicular distance from the center uh, from uh, perpendicular distance of the center of pressure to the line cy it will, uh, it will be equal to x bar thus we have to find x bar <coughs> very easy no problem this means <coughs> This means x bar equal to summation z rho 2 x a plus x y delta x 0 2 x a plus x delta x divided by summation 0 2 a plus x y delta x x bar is equal to this or you may write it as x bar equal to summation x y a plus x delta x summation a plus x into y delta x Right. Thus, <coughs> now convert it to the integration side. This means x bar equal to integral. Put it here integral x. Uh, what is y? Well, write it as y for the time. Period. Dx. A plus x. Y dx, x very from you are integrating with respect to x. Dx is here, you are integrating with respect to x. The strip may be here or here. Therefore, x may vary from minus a to plus a. Minus a to plus a. X may vary from minus a to plus a. Up to this step, uh, minus a to plus a, and here also minus a to. 
Right? Ellipsis. X square by x square plus y square by b square equal to 1. This means y square by b square 1 minus x square by x square. Y square is equal to b square by x square into x square minus x square. This means y equal to b by a root of r x square minus x square. Therefore, x bar equal to integration of minus a2 plus a x into b by a root of r a square minus x square into a plus x dx divided by minus a2 plus a a plus x into b by a into root of r a square minus x square dx it will be like this b by a or no I, I, it is not a plus b it is a plus x mm. b by a b by a will be cancelled b by a b by a will be cancelled mm. this is equal to let me write it this means x bar equal to minus a2 plus a minus a2 plus a a can be taken outside of this a x into root of r a square minus x square dx a into root of uh, a x into root of r this plus Again, minus a2 plus a, x square into root of r, a square minus x square dx, here you may write a into minus a2 plus a, root of r, a square minus x square dx, plus x into minus a2 plus a, x into root of r a square minus x square dx you may write like this you may write like this yeah the integration is minus a2 plus a minus a2 plus a write it as uh, <coughs> number one suppose number one now you know they are Integration minus a2 plus a fx dx equal to 2 times of integration 0 to a fx dx if fx is an odd function, a is an even function, and this is equal to 0 if fx is an odd function, is an odd function. The property of a definitive value. Fx equal to x into root of r a square minus x square. F of minus x will be equal to minus x root of r a square minus x square equal to minus fx. Therefore, fx is an odd function. Odd function. Since it is an odd function, therefore minus a2 plus a x into root of r a square minus x square dx equal to 0. This term will be 0, consequently this will be also 0. Suppose uh, this one, phi x. Phi x equal to x square into root of r a square minus x square. Therefore phi of minus x equal to minus x whole square 
रूट ऑफ आर ए स्क्वायर माइनस माइनस एक्स होल स्क्वायर दिस इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर इनटू रूट ऑफ आर ए स्क्वायर माइनस इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स आ फाइव माइनस एक्स इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स देर फॉर फाइव एक्स इज एन इवेंट फंक्शन देर फॉर फाइव एक्स इज एन इवेंट फंक्शन फाइव एक्स इज एन इवेंट फंक्शन Now we are going to find this integral. Put x is equal to a sine theta. Therefore, dx equal to a cos theta theta. X equal to zero implies theta equal to zero. X is equal to a implies theta is equal to pi by two. X is equal to zero. Theta is equal to pi by two. Therefore, integral zero to a x square. Root of r square minus x square dx equal to integral theta is equal to zero to pi by two a square sine square theta into root of r a square minus a square sine square theta for dx you may write a cos theta d theta this is equal to integral zero to pi by two a square sine square theta a cos theta again a cos theta. This is equal to a square a a a to the power four zero to pi by two. Sine square theta into cos square theta d theta. This is equal to zero to pi by two sine square theta cos square theta d theta.
Sainz was the double scores in every day. It is very easy. This is equal to 2 minus 1. A to the power 4 is the other. 2 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 2. Integral 0 to pi by 2. Sin square theta cos theta root to the power 0. 2 minus 2. D theta. It will be like this. Because. Because. I am an equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power mx cos to the power nx dx this is equal to n minus 1 by m plus m n minus 1 divided by m plus m I am n minus 2 I am n minus 2 I am applying this formula I am n equal to n minus 1 by m plus m I am into n minus 2 m not into I am comma n minus 2 I am n stands for integral 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power mx cos to the power nx dx sin to the power mx cos to the power nx dx here sin to the power 2x cos to the power 2x 2 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 2 n minus 1 by m plus n integral i am n minus 2 means sin square theta into n minus 2 cos theta cos to the power 2 minus 2 theta cos to the power 0 this one this means this means this is equal to a to the power 4 into 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 integration 0 to pi by 2 sin square theta d theta sin square theta d theta this is equal to a to the power 4 1 by 4 1 by 2 into pi by 2 this is equal to pi a to the power 4 by 16 pi a to the power 4 by 16 this is equal to pi a to the power 4 divided by 16. The integrate in the numerator has been calculated. Now, integral 0 to a root over a square minus x square. You need not uh, put x is equal to a sin theta. Because it is a formula. x root over a square minus x square divided by 2 plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a this is the formula 0 to a this is equal to if you put a here a square minus a square it will be 0 if you put 0 this x 0 no contribution from this plus a square by 2 sin inverse if you put a 1 minus it will be sin inverse 0 this is equal to a square by 2 into pi by 2 minus 0. This is equal to pi a square divided by 4. This is equal to pi a square divided by 4. Therefore, from 2 you will get. Therefore, from 2 you will get. From 2 you will get. Therefore, 2 implies x bar equal to that integration uh, is equal to pi a to the power 4 by 16 and this integration a is also there a is also there pi a square by 4 pi a square by 4 this is equal to pi a to the power 4 by 16 into 4 divided by pi a cube 4 here it will be 4 pi pi will be cancelled a cube a cube a will be there a by 4 this is equal to a, a by 4 x bar equal to a by 4 therefore the center of pressure is at a depth a by 4 from the center of the uh, circle <coughs> what does it mean x bar equal to a by 4 this means that the center of pressure CP, you may write CP. CP, 
means center. The center of pressure of the ellipse is at the depth a by two below the center of the below the center below the center of the ellipse below the center of the ellipse also it is given that the center of pressure coincides with the lower focus of the ellipse also it is given that also it is given that given that that the center of pressure coincides with the lower focus of the ellipse lower focus of the ellipse coincides with the lower focus of the ellipse Therefore, the distance, therefore, uh, of the ellipse. Suppose even if the lower focus is S, CS will be equal to AE, is the eccentricity. Mm. Therefore, the distance, distance of the center of pressure from the center of the ellipse from the center of the ellipse will be equal to AE where E is the eccentricity of the ellipse where E is the eccentricity of the ellipse Where E is the eccentricity of the ellipse. Therefore, according to the equations, this distance is A by E. We have found that it is equal to A by 2. This implies E equal to 1 by 4. This means E equal to 1 by 4. Therefore, eccentricity of the ellipse is eccentricity of the ellipse is is equal to 1 by 4. Eccentricity of the ellipse is equal to 1 by 4. <coughs> this completes the answer of the question. Perhaps we have enjoyed this. Let us take on another problem. Let us try to solve this problem. <coughs> A semicircular laminar is completely immersed semicircular lamina is completely immersed in water with its plane vertical so that the extremity A of the bounding diameter is in the surface you see the semicircular lamina this is the semicircular lamina semicircular lamina semicircular lamina AB is the bounding diameter AB is the bounding diameter. Hmm. Bounding diameter. <coughs> we will take x axis along this and y axis and the tangent at the vertex. Y axis like this. X axis, y axis. Now, 
Suppose E is the center of pressure. X bar, Y bar. Center of pressure. E is the center of pressure. X bar, Y bar. Center of pressure. This means that this distance, O is the center, suppose, this distance will be x bar and this distance will be y bar. This distance will be y bar. Now, the extremity A of the, uh, in the surface, diameter makes an, diameter makes an angle alpha. With the, this is the surface. It is free surface. Diameter makes an angle this. Now, suppose uh, here Q R delta theta delta elementary area. Q elementary area R delta theta delta R. Polar coordinate is R theta. Refer to A as pole and AB as initial line. Polar equation. This is theta. Also, we are given that E is the center of pressure and find the angle between AE and the diameter. A E and the diameter. This is the this is pi. This is pi. This is elementary area. R delta theta delta. Each polar coordinate is R theta. Refer to A as polar, A B as initial line. A X as initial line. Let me write, uh, let me push it first. <coughs> Here, AB is the diameter, bounding diameter. AB is the bounding diameter of the circle, uh, semicircle. A is in the effective surface. A is in the effective surface. Also, the diameter makes with the surface at an angle alpha. Angle alpha. E Center of pressure and phi the angle between AE and the diameter between AE and diameter. Therefore, we have to show that ten phi in terms of alpha. Then pi 16, 15, uh, it will come automatically. We have to find this in terms of alpha. In terms of alpha. Here, the <coughs> extremity A, A of the bounding diameter, diameter AB is in the effective surface. is in the effective surface. Let O be the center of the circle. Center of the circle. Next, we take x axis along the diameter AB. We take x axis. x axis. Along the diameter AB and Y axis along the tangent along the tangent X axis along the diameter AB and Y axis along the tangent at A 
Hello, na ten ten e at e. Oga sarwala rin dia. Oga sinis sarwala rin dia. Along na ten ten e de 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 cho. Along na ten ten e. Oga sinis sarwala e dia. Along na ten ten e. This is the x axis. This is the y axis. The diameter e b measure angle alpha with the three surface. The three surface is suppose a as the diameter a b a b makes an angle alpha angle alpha with the three surface three surface yeah more like this surface it is alpha we have to find the center of pressure and uh, <coughs> is the center of pressure mm -hmm. the center of no it's completely immersed in water which is mm -hmm. extremity is in the bounding the and the diameter makes with the surface and work up to this step uh, now E chamber of pressure. Pi the angle between A and A B. Yeah. Now, <coughs> now let's write. Right. <coughs> Consider an elementary area. R delta R delta theta delta R. At the point Q. of the semi-circular area of the semi-circular area consider an elementary area this at the point Q of the semi-circular area uh, whose polar coordinates are mm. Are R theta referred to referred to A as pole and uh, A as pole and A B as initial line as initial line A B is the one as the x axis or you may write A X as the initial line taking A as pole and A X as the initial line. Polar coordinates of this. Therefore, this angle is. <coughs> now you see what will be the pressure at uh, Q. The pressure at Q. Now the pressure P at Q. Pressure P at Q. The pressure P at Q. Equal to Z rho. Notice here. Yeah, notice. This distance. What will be this distance? Up to the tip surface. This distance is a q sine alpha plus theta. Sine of angle D is. What is the angle of uh, this angle? This angle is theta plus alpha. Zero a q means r sine of theta plus alpha. Right? Since AQ is equal to AQ is equal to distance of Q below the effective surface. This distance is equal to AQ sin this angle. What is this angle? This is theta, this is alpha. Theta plus alpha. Theta plus alpha. Pressure uh, P at Q equal to this. Thrust on the elementary area. Therefore, thrust on the elementary area. Thrust on the elementary area. R delta theta delta R. 
will be equal to 0 r sin theta plus alpha theta plus alpha r delta theta delta r delta theta delta will be equal to this <coughs> Here, yeah, uh, E will be equal to this. Therefore, ten pi uh, will be equal to perpendicular by perpendicular divided by base. Ten E ten <coughs> pi equal to this. This uh, pi by pi is pi by pi by pi is pi. Is the same proposition. Therefore, ten pi. Equal to this equal to y bar by x bar. Y bar by x bar. This will be proved uh, together. Mm. Thrust on the elementary area. Therefore, thrust on the whole area. Area. Equal to double summation. 0 r square sin theta plus alpha delta theta delta r. Delta theta delta R, thrust on the whole area is this. Thrust on the elementary area is thrust on the whole area is this. Now, now, E x bar y bar is the center of pressure of the circular area. E x bar y bar is the center of pressure of the circular area. Center of pressure of the circular area. Now, according to the question, 10 phi equal to. Now, where? My right here, where? x bar equal to what? What will be x bar? Equal to a o. y bar equal to what? a o. a o is equal to y bar? y bar. This is y bar. And uh, a o equal to x bar. 10 phi equal to e a b e a b this angle equal to pi, it is given E A B equal to pi, this is given then therefore ten pi equal to y bar by x bar ten pi equal to y bar y bar by x bar it will be like this then we are to find y bar y bar divided by x bar x bar and y bar uh, y bar divided by x bar and we have to prove that then phi equal to this now you see <coughs> now taking thrust uh, taking moments of the thrust taking moments of the thrust Moments of the thrust. About taking moments of the thrust about uh, <coughs> A. Mm. About AY. AY. Moment of the thrust about AY. About a y, we have to find the moment of the thrust. Now you see <coughs> thrust at the point Q. Thrust at the point Q equal to this one. Z rho r sin zero r square. Zero r square. R square sin theta plus alpha. Delta theta delta R into thrust at the point Q 
and moment about a y it will be this distance the what will be the perpendicular distance of this this distance this distance means from this to this this distance what is this distance it is definitely uh, what is this distance equal to a q cos theta uh, this distance mm. no no I, I am going to find about a y it will be this distance this divided by this is equal to cos theta it will be cos theta it will be a q cos theta means r cos theta right perpendicular distance of this from a y equal to perpendicular distance of this point from this this is equal to this divided by a q equal to cos theta this is equal to cos theta therefore this will be equal to r cos theta r cos theta now take the double summation now resultant thrust right here resultant thrust 0 r square sin theta plus alpha delta theta delta r resultant thrust will pass through the point E this distance this distance is nothing but AO equal to x bar equal to x bar this means x bar equal to x bar equal to you will get <coughs> double summation 0 you know r square into r r cube sin theta plus alpha cos theta delta theta delta r divided by double summation 0 r square sin theta plus alpha delta theta delta delta theta delta it will be this this is equal to double summation 0 0 will be cancelled r cube sin theta plus alpha cos theta delta theta delta r divided by double summation r square sin theta plus alpha delta theta delta r it will be like this y bar by x bar mm. 10 pi equal to y bar by we are from 10 pi equal to x bar it, it is number one <coughs> now this one <coughs> next time just uh, convert it to the integration sign. What will be r? r is equal to 0 to a. a is the radius of the circle. a is the radius of the circle. No. be theta theta will be equal to what will be theta you you see theta this angle maximum minimum angle is theta uh, zero zero to this theta uh, this angle will be equal to pi by two zero to pi by two theta may be equal to zero to pi by two zero to pi by two put here sin theta plus alpha cos theta and r equal to r cube dr d theta r equal to 0 to twice a cos theta the polar coordinates of the circle refer to a as pole and a b as initial line here also theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin theta plus alpha r equal to 0 to twice a cos theta 
आस्कुआर दिया दीदा आस्कुआर दिया दीदा सपोज दिस इज इक्वल टू आई वन बाय आई टू आई वन बाय आई टू वेर आर इक्वल टू ट्वाइस ए पॉसिबल डाम इज द पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ इज द पोलर इक्वेशन ऑफ द सर्कल रेफर टू ए एस पोल एंड रेफर टू ए एस पोल एंड ए एक्स एस इनिशियल लाइन एंड ए बी और ए एक्स ए एक्स एस इनिशियल लाइन नो प्रॉब्लम एक्स बार इक्वल टू बीस सपोज दिस इज नंबर टू दिस इज नंबर टू नाउ वाई बार टू फाइंड वाई बार टेकिंग मोमेंट ऑफ द फास्ट मोमेंट ऑफ द फास्ट अबाउट ए एक्स वी गेट About a x, we get moments of the thrust. About a x, taking moments of the thrust. About a x, we get moments of the thrust. About a x, we get thrust z rho r square sine theta plus alpha delta theta delta r delta theta delta r. What is this distance? About uh, uh, from this to this, this divided by a cube, this divided by a cube, equal to sine theta. This is equal to r sine theta. It will be equal to r sine theta. The double solution. This is equal to z rho r square sine theta plus alpha. delta theta delta r into from e this distance is y bar it this is equal to y bar very simple <coughs> this means y bar equal to y bar equal to double summation zero zero uh, you may cancel this one r cube sin theta plus alpha Sin theta delta theta delta r divided by double summation r square sin theta plus alpha delta theta delta. R. This means y bar equal to integration theta is equal to zero to pi by two. Zero to pi by two sin theta plus alpha into sin theta. R equal to zero to twice a cos theta. R cube dr d theta. And uh, here <coughs> theta equal to zero to pi by two. Theta equal to zero to pi by two. Uh, <coughs> Sin theta plus alpha. Integration r uh, putting r equal to zero to twice a cos theta. Twice a cos theta. It is uh, r square dr d theta. 
it will be like this. This is equal to the upper integral is I3. Suppose this is I3, upper integral is I3. The lower integral is same as number 2, the denominator of number 2. It will be I2. I2. Suppose it is number 3. It is number 3. Here, this is number 3. We need not find I2 because we have to find tan phi, which is equal to y bar by x bar. I2 will be cancelled. Therefore, we will have to find only I1 and I3. Only I1 and I3. Right. <coughs> now, <coughs> 3 divided by 2. Now, 3 divided by 2. 3 divided by 2 implies y bar by x bar equal to y bar by x bar equal to i3 by i1 i2 will be constant i3 by i1 what is i3 i3 is equal to this one this integral theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin theta plus uh, alpha into sine theta 0 to twice a cos theta r cube dr d theta divided by this one divided by this one theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sine theta plus alpha no 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 sine yes this one, this one, sin theta plus alpha, cos theta, and uh, zero to twice a cos theta, r square, uh, r, it is r cube dr, d theta, r cube dr, d theta. <coughs> Therefore, from 1, therefore, 1 implies 10 pi equal to y bar by x bar means y bar by x bar. This is equal to i3 by i1. i3 by i1. We have to find this one. Suppose this is number 2. i1 and i3, I am going to find now i1 and i3. First find I1. I1. I1 equal to theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2. Uh, sine theta plus alpha cos theta. It is uh, r to the power 4 by 2. 0 to twice a cos theta. It is d theta. This is equal to. 0 to pi by 2 sin theta plus alpha cos theta 2 to the power 4 a to the power 4 cos to the power 4 theta divided by 2 d theta divided by 4 d theta this is equal Four a to the power four zero to pi by two sine theta plus alpha cos theta cos to the power five theta. You may write cos to the power four cos theta cos to the power five theta. You may write this. This is equal to four a to the power four zero to pi by two sine theta cos alpha plus cos theta sin alpha into cos to the power 5 theta d theta you may write like this this is equal to 4 a to the power 4 it is uh, sin uh, you know cos alpha cos alpha 
cos to the power 5 uh, theta into sin theta. If you put cos theta equal to z, then it will be dz minus cos to the power 6 theta divided by 6, 0 to pi by 2 plus sin alpha 0 to pi by 2 cos to the power 6 theta d theta. This is equal to 4 a to the power 4. Uh, you know 1 by 6 cos alpha it will be 0 minus 1 and 1 by 6 cos alpha uh, minus cos pi by 2 means 0 minus 0 plus 1 like that plus sin alpha it is 5 by 6 3 by 4 1 by 2 pi by 2 by the middle of this 3 here it will be 2 to be two. now three I three mm -hmm. we are finding I one this means I one equal to uh, <coughs> four a to the power two four a to the power two it is 1 by 6 cos alpha plus 5 by 5 pi by 32 sin alpha sin alpha this is equal to 4 a to the power 4 32 into 3 32 into 3 16 cos alpha plus 15 pi sin alpha this is equal to 4 a to the power 4 96 16 cos alpha plus 15 pi sin alpha i1 equal to this i1 equal to we have found i1 equal to this now i3 next we have to find i3 we have calculated <coughs> I1, I1 equal to this. 1, 2, 3, 4, suppose it is 5. 5. Hmm. I3 equal to I3 equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin theta plus alpha into sin theta. It, it is r to the power 4 by 4. 0 to twice a cos theta d theta it is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin theta cos alpha plus cos theta sin alpha into sin theta 16 a to the power 4 cos to the power 4 theta divided by 4 d theta is not it. Four d theta. This. It will be. This is equal to four a to the power four. Integration zero to pi by two. Pi by two. to the power 4 cos alpha integration 0 to pi by 2 sin theta sin theta sin square theta cos to the power 4 theta d theta plus sin alpha uh, cos integration 0 to pi by 2 cos to the power 5 theta into sin theta d theta this this is equal to 4 a to the power 4 cos alpha it is 2 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 6 2 plus 4 it will be 0 to pi by 2 1 into cos to the power 4 theta 
then you uh, you may write three by four, one by two, five by two. Just uh, using the reduction formula. You may see my video of uh, videos of reduction formula. Five by two. <coughs> Plus sin alpha, it will be minus cos to the power 6 theta divided by 6, 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2. I1 is equal to this, it is this, number 4 will have to be applied. Now, let me write like this, I3 is equal to this. Mm. This means this means I three equal to four a to the power four one by six three by four one by two pi by two into cos alpha into cos alpha plus uh, into cos alpha plus, uh, it is pi by 2 means 0 cos 0 is 1 simply 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 sin alpha plus 1 by 6 sin alpha simple 1 by 6 sin alpha now what will be this what will be this <coughs> This means I3 equal to 4 a to the power 4 pi by thirty two cos alpha plus 1 by 6 sin alpha 1 by 6 sin alpha This is equal to 4 a to the power 4 divided by 32 into 3 uh, it will be thrice pi cos alpha thrice pi cos alpha plus 16 sin alpha 16 sin alpha it will be like this i3 equal to this i3 equal to this this means I3 equal to 4 a to the power 4 96 times pi cos alpha plus 16 sin alpha. It will be like this. Number 6. Number 6. Thus we have used this one. <coughs> Use this one. Um, uh, <coughs> using uh, 5 and 6 in 4 using 5 and 6 in 4 6 in 4 we get 10 pi equal to I3 by this term this two terms will be cancelled this will be cancelled it will be thrice pi cos alpha plus 16 sin alpha divided by this 16 cos alpha plus 15 pi sin alpha 15 pi sin alpha this is this implies this means 10 pi equal to dividing numerator and denominator by cos alpha dividing numerator and denominator by cos alpha you may write here dividing dividing numerator and denominator by numerator and denominator by cos alpha ten alpha is equal to this thus we have proved this one 
dibanding di luar itu ada di luar tempat kos. Ini sih itu sudah not tough, ini sudah berisi. Ini sudah not tough, ini sudah berisi. Saya sepai plus 16 dan lupa di bawah. By 16 plus 15 pai dan lupa. Ini sudah di. This is the case. Dia students. Tomorrow I shall take another class. I want to stop here. Thanks for attending the class. Thank you very much. Thank you.